you know it's bad when you go to get up out the bed and you pull in the bed sheet with you from your foot. You know your feet is crusty when that happens and it's happened a few times. So I'm very happy to have this. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, your girl went on Timu for the first time and I'm not gonna lie, Timu gives me Taobao vibes. Now if y'all don't know, your girl used to live in China, okay? I lived there for almost three years and there was this app that I used to use all the time and it was called Taobao and it's extremely similar to Timu. I actually felt really like nostalgic kind of going through Timu searching through and looking for things to purchase. I have a $100 haul right here. It wasn't exactly $100, it was like $98 once I put in my little, you know, discounts and stuff. But $98 worth of stuff here. I'm not gonna lie, I was just kind of like, doop, doop, doop. it's very easy on that app to get addicted, especially when you use the app. When you use the online store, it's not as in your face, but when you're on the app, it is, it, it, it's just, it's, is doing the most to get you addicted. So be very careful when you're on that app because you will spend your whole paycheck. You will be like, oh, I'm getting deals here, deals here, deals here. Next thing you know, all your money gone. I'm gonna actually go through all my stuff that I got from Timu. And to be honest, this is just the first of three bags. This is just the first of three bags that I ordered. Uh, they're all around like $100 worth of stuff. Don't tell Justin. Just kidding. Justin's right there. He heard me. I'm going to go ahead and get into this haul. Show y'all what I got in this bag. Okay, what I got in this bag. Now, Timu is owned by China. Okay, so no wonder it reminds me of Timu. No, no wonder it reminds me of Taobao. Y'all, I used to love shopping on Taobao. I literally bought like everything on Taobao. I furnished my entire apartment from Taobao. The first item I got, and I think this was actually the first item I picked out as well, is this cute little top. It's got like a nice little print. I am in a larger body right now. I do plan on losing this extra weight, but in the meantime, between time, I do want to have clothes that I can kind of go out in. Because right now I've been just wearing a lot of sweats, a lot of t-shirts. I am going on a fitness journey, but I also want to have stuff that I can look cute in right now. The material actually doesn't feel that bad. It's not like the best material, but it's definitely not as thin as I was expecting it to be. Long sleeves. It has like that kind of puffy, puffy sleeve thing going on, which I really, really like because the elastic at the, at the, um, is it the cuff? Is that what that is? It has elastic at the cuff or where the hand comes out of. I think this will look really cute. Very excited to try that on. Now, y'all know I love me a good button up. And this one I thought was just so pretty. It's like a corduroy type of material and it's like oversized. I think this will look cute on me even when I lose my weight. You just wear it, you know, over like a tank top, opened up. Obviously I won't wear it all buttoned up. I love this color. I think this color is really, really pretty. So we got two little things, two little things to try on. This is just a sweater that you can throw over a tank top and it is just so freaking like cozy and warm. It feels like a blanket. This is gonna be really nice for when I'm editing videos and I get a little chilly and I can just throw this on and then just be cozy. <laughs> The next thing in here is a hoodie. I love a good hoodie and I don't have any hoodies as of right now. So, well, as of right now, I do have a hoodie, but before right now, I didn't have a hoodie. So this is like the symbol for love. It's gonna look cute on me when I lose weight because it'll just have that oversized hoodie, like throw your boyfriend's hoodie on, even though obviously it's not your boyfriend's hoodie. I think this is super freaking cute. It's just like a like a like a vest that you could put on, like an oversized vest. You just put like a nice little sweater on underneath it and you leave it open. Seeing it in person, I don't know if I like it yet. I'm gonna have to try it on and see. Cause seeing it in person right now, I'm not sure if I like that. The next item. Ooh, this actually feels really good. It feels nice and soft. Next thing I have in here is this really nice sweater. It's very soft. I like this. Very comfy, cozy. While it does look very similar to the thing I just showed you, they are slightly different. This is another little thin sweater situation. I think that's super cute. It is slightly different color. I dress pretty conservatively these days. 
The last piece of clothing that I have is actually a cute little set. I don't know how this is gonna look because when I wear big t-shirts, honestly, it makes me look even bigger than I am. Just because, you know, motherhood has blessed me with certain things. And because they're just so much bigger, when I wear big t-shirts, it just makes me look really big. But I think this is so freaking cute. I think that is just so adorable with the little mischievous teddy bear. And then it came with some little biker shorts. I love a good biker shorts. They're very comfortable. Hopefully it looks cute on. If not, I'm gonna have to find a way to style it so that it works with my assets. The next thing in here looks very similar to something you're already seeing on you, girl. I actually ordered a set of, wait, where's the other thing go, bruh? I have no idea where it went. So I ordered another little headband like this that comes with a little wristies. I love this for when I'm doing my skincare at night. That way the water isn't just dripping down my wrist into my arm. It just makes your arm feel all yucky and gross. Oh, excuse me. It had a little headband like this that's just in gray color. <laughs> So it's just a little headband. It has the cute little bow on it. You know, I love me a little bow. I love those for, like I said, when I'm washing my face. The next thing I got is this little like thingy for your feet. I hate to admit this, but your girl got not just crusty lips, but I got crusty feet. <laughs> I'm just not able to go and get my pedicure as often as I would like. I was supposed to get my pedicure done like a week ago, but I ended up with an ingrown nail. So I had to go get that nail removed and you can't get like a pedicure too closely after having the nail removed. So I have to wait a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go to the nail salon and have them touch up my crusty dusty toes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna use this on my like, what do they call that thing? I'm gonna use this on the heel of my foot. You know it's bad when you go to get up out the bed and you pull in the bed sheet with you from your foot. You know you you know your feet is crusty when that happens and it's happened a few times. So I'm very happy to have this. I'm gonna go ahead and get all that little crusty dusties up off my feet next time I take a shower. The next thing I got were these little cute little pill lipsticks. I thought these were just so cute and I just wanted to try them. This is just more of a gag, but I mean, if the colors are coloring, they're just like a bunch of little like cute little lipstick pills. This is so cute. These are just like itty bitty lipsticks. Look at that, so itty bitty. Oh, okay. Here's the next one. Ooh, the next one is this color. They're so dainty and tiny, teeny, tiny. Ooh, that looks pretty. You know I like me some itty bitty things. And the last one I'm gonna try out is this one right here. Ooh, that's a nice deep berry color. Ooh, yeah, I like that for the fall. In the winter, I love that. These are super, super adorable. And it's by DNM, Matte Long Lasting Canister Lipstick. They're like kind of, sort of matte. Now, this I've actually owned before and I actually got it while I was in China. These are like clear lip gloss type deals. Basically what they do is they go with the temperature of your lips and they change color. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. That is so pretty. It's just got like a cute little flower in there. The way I wear them is I put on my brown lip liner and then I just use this as like a lip gloss. It went on very glossy. And you see how it's kind of like changing colors a little bit? It's changing to a little bit more of a pinky kind of tone. I might give some of these away because I, I don't need all these, okay? The one is fine. I might keep two, just one in the, in the pocket, you know, keep one in the pocket. But the rest of them I probably will do in a giveaway. Now, I'm very excited about this. These are some gloves that you use in the shower. Basically, you put this glove on and you use it to exfoliate the rest of your body. It's a little bit gritty, but it's not too harsh, just to exfoliate and make everything less crusty, less dusty. These are just little things for your eyebrows. Cause as y'all can see, like my eyebrows are all like grown in. This would just be like something I can use to kind of clean them up a little bit when I'm in between appointments, like I am right now. And it came with a bunch of them. So I'm set for a very long time. 
Y'all, I've been loving just braiding my hair up and not touching it. On those days where I'm not wearing like this wig, I can just throw this hat on. And that way I'm not walking around looking like Lil Bow Wow. I can just throw this over my braids. I like this and I like the little bun in the front. That way I don't have to go through the process of wrapping the bun myself. And it's not too much material. Cause you know, like you get the, the head wraps and it's just a lot of material. This is not, it's very thin. So it's not gonna heat my head up. I'm not gonna be cooking my head, cooking my brains. It's nice and soft. And the last thing I got is actually by a brand that I learned about when I was in China. Timu is basically Taobao for America. This is Hand Dian. I think that's how you say it. And these are 12 shadow stick oh, and brush. I didn't know it had brushes. Maybe it has like a little brush on the end of the shadow stick. I don't particularly know how to use the shadow stick. So I'm gonna practice with these. That way I'm not using the expensive ones incorrectly. I could practice with these. This is what this looks like. This actually feels really good. Y'all know, I love texture. And this just has like that slicky, kind of matty, but still slick kind of texture. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and do some swatches. Ooh, okay. That looks good. The next one looks kind of like a like a blue. Oh, it's more like a black, like a gunmetal black. They're going on very, very creamy. Those swatched actually pretty nicely. I'm really excited for this color. Any of these like little coppery shades, I'm excited for as well. Those look really pretty. That is everything in my little Timu haul. I am super excited for my other bags that are coming in. Those should be in in the next few days. So I will film and upload a video opening those for y'all. In the meantime, between time, if you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank <laughs> you.